What's up guys? So today in this video, I wanted to talk about something new that I thought of that I think could possibly be the next big thing in like small business technology. Some of these apps like Airtable, Sana, Zapier, and it's really using what's already existing there. There doesn't need to be something brand new, but a new concept, a new way of thinking about the technology, I think has definitely evolved. And I thought of this just, I see a de definitely a need and replacing myself because I have served as a project manager in certain cases and this is what I'm getting at. So there's a few different types of automation. And if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS. And what we do is we help business owners optimize their information systems. So stuff like Asana, Slack, Airtable, and many more. So like those kind of communication and project management, asset management systems for smaller businesses. We help them solve that. And if you're interested in that, check out the link in the description. But what I wanted to talk about was different types of automation. So right now there's like workflow automation, marketing automation, and like those are the two big ideas, like aside from just like automation. So workflow automation, that's where like you have like this process and you have like here, this system needs to talk to this system and before you might copy and paste the data or you might just remember it and then type it out and the workflow automation takes that and it just automatically moves it there. And there's no manual processes involved. It might even move it through like 10 or different 15 stages. It's pretty impressive. So that's an amazing concept. The fact that you can take a workflow from like three hours, maybe down to like 30 minutes or something. So there's workflow automation. Now, another thing is marketing automation. That's another really big topic. Marketing automation is like where a new lead comes into your funnel, they come in and then like, they click on this thing and then you send them this batch of emails and they click on these things and these emails and you send them this different type of emails and you set that up once, it's kind of like a set it and forget it thing where you have your email list and just like emails constantly going out. Now, this last thing that I, have been formulating and like working as a project manager there's a lot of time that I can see that can be saved one if people were on top of their stuff but two not everybody's gonna be on top of their stuff and so being a project manager I think there's a great capability for project management to be automated and what I mean by that is a lot of a project manager's job is sending out reminders and like, hey, did you get this done? Like, if something isn't marked done here, then they're gonna hold someone accountable. So, and that's usually the way they know it. Sometimes it's purely based on like knowledge, but like knowledge of that task being done. But if it's an efficient business and they have a project management system, then something should be marked done somewhere for each task. So I think the next big thing is project management automation. And if you have like an app like Airtable, anything that connects your communication system, which lucky for nearly everybody that uses Slack, they have the ability to connect their Slack apps with Zapier. And with Zapier, you can really just like 10X the, the interconnectedness of your system. So I think like connecting it with Zapier if you can connect it with like each task or if you just have a bank of tasks and say when, if you are familiar with like a CRM system, like the rotting time of a lead or the rotting time of, of an interaction, if you have the rotting time of a task, that's like how long has it been since this task has been touched or how long overdue is this task? I think if you take that capability of like a computer automatically figuring out that time and then a computer automatically saying, oh, this task is overdue. I'm gonna send them a message. And this is gonna be a message. And if they don't go finish it within the next 24 hours, then I'm gonna send a message to the whole team and hold them accountable that way. So it's a really interesting concept of, rather than having someone manage all of these tasks, you already have your tasks all in a software, ideally like Asana or maybe Airtable. And if a task, is over time, then you want to send that reminder. And that's one particular area where I think project management can be automated. The next big one is routine tasks. So if you have like a 
client onboarding, like nearly every service business has, they have to onboard clients because that's what you do in the service business, you onboard them. But there's probably routine tasks in that that you might give to like a client onboarding team and that head of that team might be like the client onboarding project management, project manager. So if you can take all of those processes for onboarding a client, list them all out, and I'm, you probably already have this somewhere, but instead of like going in automatic, like copying, pasting those, hey, we're gonna do this now for this client, if you can just have a trigger saying, oh, this client just became a client, wherever that is, so that whether that's like in Stripe or in your CRM, somewhere you mark them as a client, then it automatically triggers a checklist of a slew of things to do to get them onboarded as a client. So whether that's like sending them an onboarding funnel, because you don't always want to be walking them through the, the same client, through the same things, especially after they paid, they're going to be in a position where they're really excited to work with you. And you might be in a position where like you're doing the same thing for multiple clients and giving them the same information. Whereas if you just made like an onboarding funnel to take them through the process of giving you certain information, that can be really effective. And then it'll make your meetings a lot more enjoyable and beneficial for both of you because then when you actually have meetings, you're actually talking about the meat of the stuff. It's not like, oh, hey, send me this email, send me this email on last pass, send me this email on one pass. So those are my two ways that I think project management can be automated. So the first one, is reminder automation within project management automation. That's like just automating those reminders, hey, get this done, get this other thing done, get this done as well. And if you don't get that done, I'm missing a message to the whole team in this channel saying you didn't get this done and you need to get it done and they'll hold you accountable in there. Now the next one is that workflow automation kind of thing where I think it's more of a checklist automation. So. It's like when this happens, you run all of these different actions that just add a slew of tasks to the project management software, automatically assigned to certain people, automatically dated, like plus one day for this task from the start, plus two days from the start for this task, plus one week, plus one month for this task, stuff like that. I think those checklists can definitely be automated and save a ton of our project manager's time, especially if it's something that runs on like a monthly basis. If it's not per client, and you have something that's like per month, per week, per day, then that's even easier to automate and like easy, easier to predict. Like if you want to be managing your sprint, you're know, so like with Agile, if you want to be managing your sprint within your project management system very effectively, then you only want stuff in your sprint that's like the next week or maybe at the most the next two weeks. That way you're staying on task and you have like blinders on you don't want to be thinking about stuff you have to do in three or four weeks unless like you need to prep which then you would add those preparation tests to this next two weeks but if you have something that repeats like every month maybe you could like split it down into like the weeks and then you can have instead of having the whole month in your project management software in your sprint board which is the stuff you need to do in the next two weeks you just have the stuff that you need to do in the next two weeks and that can all be automated or at least filtered if that's the case so I hope that was helpful. That's my idea, project management automation. I think there's definitely a big need for it because for like a solopreneur, they don't want to be like spending a lot of money to be hiring a lot of people, but they also might want to like hire a freelancer or hire a like one or two employees just to like help get stuff done. And they give them a, a set of processes, but they also don't want to be like the biggest like pain in the rear end manager. It's like always going after them, always like having to check up on them. And part of that's hiring a good employee. But I think it just really helps to have that project management automation in place in case that way somebody gets reminders if like something didn't get done. It's just a really, really good accountability system in my opinion. So if you like this video, there's a video right here in the end screen. If you need help with your setting up your information systems, there's a link in the description to request a consultation from me or someone on my team. But I definitely think if you want to learn more about different automations and different communication tools in particular, because that really ties into this project management tool, go check out this end screen right here. And it's really gonna help you take your business to the next level with communication because you need to set up those communication tools before you can set up your project management automation. So I hope that was helpful and have a good day.